Hi, my name is Sadhu Suman, and today we are going to explore a new feature in Microsoft Dynamics 365 Warehouse Management, and the feature is called as Location Directive Stock Picking Aging in D365. So the agenda is we would be uh, talking about the new feature, what it adds to the system. We are going to have a look at one demo scenario using which uh, I am going to give you a demo in D365 of how this feature operates. Now coming to the introduction of the new feature, uh, the requirement uh, in the warehouse has always have been to have an ability to distinguish between a stock which was received at an older date than to a stock which was received at an earlier date. And using that, companies always wanted to use FIFO or LIFO strategies to ship the goods. Now, what it means that companies want that they should be able to always sell the older stock first so that they follow the FIFO principle. So that's quite uh, a normal requirement in any warehouse uh, operated by any company. But what's new in this feature? So what's new in this feature is that this feature gives us two location directive strategies which are FIFO and LIFO. So two strategies which work exactly the way industry wants. But what's the difference? So the difference is that they operate for non-batch stock also. So we all know if we have batch control items, it's very easy to find out that which stock is an older stock. You can use expiration dates, you can use the manufacturing date in the batch to determine which is an older batch and that means which is an older stock. But what about the companies who don't have batch control items? That is where the problem was. Those companies uh, lack the ability to differentiate between an old stock and a new stock. And that is what exactly this feature delivers to Dynamics 365. So we are going to have a look at how this operates and what are the additions to the system. Uh, the principle on which it works is an introduction of a new field called as aging date on the locations form. It was already there on the license plate. So now you have a new field on the locations form and system updates the aging date when the stock is received on the system. So that is how it operates. So that is a high level introduction. Uh, once we go inside the demo and the scenario, we will understand how this operates and I'll explain in more detail. So quick look at the scenario, um, which will make you understand how this operates. So we are going to first receive seven pieces of an item on let's say 23rd of May on location 010101. Then we are again going to receive seven pieces of the same item four days later on another location 010101 07. Now we have two items on two locations and then we are going to see how system operates on FIFO and LIFO picking. Then we are going to create a sales order for seven pieces for the same item and we will keep the new feature, the location directive strategy as FIFO. Then we would release the sales order to warehouse and the result should be that these seven pieces on the sales order should get picked from the location 010101. And why is that? Because of a strategy was FIFO, first in first out. And this was the location which had a stock on received on 23rd of May. Then we are going to create uh, another sales order for the same item. This time we change the strategy to LIFO and then we release it to warehouse. The result should be that this time it picks the item from this location because last in first out. So this stock was received on 27th of May. So that is a, a small demo scenario to give you an idea of how this operates. Let's quickly start the actual demo to see the working of this uh, new feature in warehouse management. So time for a demo. Now we are in Dynamics 365. Let's have a look at the UI changes which happen in the system because of this new feature. 
so you need to navigate to warehouse management and location directives if you check the location directive strategies you can see there are two new options available one is location aging FIFO and the other one is location aging LIFO so this is the change you are going to see in your system once you enable the feature uh, although there is a lot of logic being added behind these two strategies to make the system pick stock uh, based on FIFO and LIFO strategies so that's all for the UI changes. Now let's have a look at the stock situation for the demo item to see how they operate, right? So we navigate to warehouse management and to locations. So if you look, have a look at the first location, 01, we can see it has no item number field on it. Uh, we'll have a look uh, at it in some time why it is blank and we can see it has an aging date of 23rd of May and it has a location status storage that means there is something on that location if you check the on hand list for this location we can see it has an item 102 for seven pieces and another item 141 for seven pieces because this location shares multiple items that's why we have the uh, the field item number blank on the location form so this is location number one then if you have a look at location number two it has the same item 102 which was received on 23rd of May location 103 it has the same item which was again received on 23rd of May then same is the case with location 104 and if you have a look at the location 105, it has the same item, but it was received on 25th of May. So that is how a system identifies older and newer stocks. So uh, for system 105 is a new stock and the stock for the uh, same item from location 4 to 1 is an old stock because that was received on 23rd of May. So now we are going to quickly receive one purchase order for this item and uh, let's see how the situation changes for, for the locations and, and before we proceed. So let's take a quick screenshot at this stage of how things stand for us and, uh, and then paste it in our notes. Now we go back to the system. Let's go to procurement sourcing all purchase orders so I have created a purchase order for the same item 102 for seven pieces so you can see I'm trying to buy the same item for seven pieces and let's see what is the aging date given by the system to the stock we received today so let's quickly receive the stock I will log into my warehouse app login and then I would go to PO receiving let me copy the PO number so that's the PO number now let's copy the item number we are trying to receive okay so now I'm going to receive all the seven pieces so I receive all the seven pieces this is the summary and I say okay so now we can see system has created a work and we need to move this stock from the inbound docs to the final location so let's have a look at the work created and we can see now we have a purchase order work let's have a look at the work and now we can see system wants us to move this stock to 107 location for all the seven pieces so let's quickly complete the work so we'll go back to our warehouse app now we do our inbound put away select the work id so now we can see system wants us to pick seven pieces uh, from the receiving location 
and put them on 107 location so I said I have put them and you can see work is completed so we have received new stock let's have a look at our locations what has changed so warehouse management and locations and now you can see we have a new line updated in the location master so you can see the location 107 is updated with the item 102 we just received and the date is same 26th of May and now it's into storage last activity date and time tells you the time when you have received the stock and there is a difference between the times on last activity date and time and aging date because of the session date and time and the current date and time so don't get confused uh, uh, in these two times so this is the date which system is going to take as the aging date of the stock right so now let's create a sales order for this item 102 and see how uh, from which location system picks it now we have one location 101 which has the same item although we cannot see it because it shares the location with another item 141 right so we have we have four locations 101 to 104 which have received the stock on 23rd of May and we have the last location 107 which has received the stock on 26th of May so now uh, let's see what happens before we create a sales order and release it let's quickly have a look at our setup on location directives so I go to location directives and now you can see I want to use a strategy which is location aging fee for so I want to sell the stock which is old first first in first out right so keep in mind it is fee for uh, the strategy which we have selected for picking this stock so now let's go and have a look at our sales order for this particular item we are in sales order and I have created a sales order 07 for this item let's have a look at it now we can see I'm trying to sell the item 102 for seven pieces so let's try and release it to warehouse and now you can see the system has released it to warehouse let's have a look at the work created in the system if you open the work create for the sales order now you can see the system wants me to pick from location 101 and that is because that is the location which has the oldest stock remember the aging date fee so that is how the strategy works it's not looking at any batch numbers to find which is older stock it's a strategy which looks at the aging date on the location to determine which is the oldest stock so now it's telling me to pick from location 101 which has an aging date of 23rd of May so now if you go to locations this is the location from where system wants me to pick this item because it has an aging date of 23rd of May and system is not asking me to pick from 107 because that has an aging date of 26th of May so that is a new stock and that's why we are picking from location 101 because we have a strategy FIFO so that is how it operates for FIFO strategy uh, now if we cancel the work and change the strategy we'll try and release it to the LIFO strategy so I will quickly cancel my work I'll delete the load created delete the load so now let's change our setting in location directives to picking based on strategy location aging LIFO so now we want to pick the stock which was received the most recently so location aging LIFO last in first down so now I've changed the strategy we will re-release the sales order and let's see what pick location we get this time so now we go back to sales and marketing and all sales order so that is our sales order 07 same item I've released it to warehouse now work is created let's have a look at the work 
and now you can see system wants me to pick from 107 because the strategy was changed to LIFO because that has the most recent stock received. So we have seen how the system operates based on the aging date field on the locations from right so this is the field which system uses to determine which is a new stock which is an, which is an old stock now one important thing uh, is that when you have multiple items on a location so that's a different scenario so on location 101 you see I have no item number field and that is because this location has two items 102 and 141 both for seven pieces now how system is going to determine the aging date for these two items you can have multiple multiple items on one location so does that mean that the aging date uh, of the location is the aging date of all those items does it mean that 23rd may is the aging date for both these items no that is not the case so if you have multiple items on your location system will never look at the uh, location aging date rather it would look at the aging date of the license plate so now I have uh, two items 102 141 if you look at the license plate for 102 you can find the aging date is 23rd of May and if you check the license plate for 141 it has an aging date of 25th of May so now it's quite clear that for the item which is 141 the aging date will not be taken as this date on the location form but it would be taken as the aging date of the license plate because this has multiple uh, items on it and then you can receive them on different dates and that's most likely what is going to happen so for item 141 the aging date is 25th of May now a question might be coming to your mind that why uh, we have an aging date of 23rd of May why that this date is given a preference because it has two items so the answer is uh, a system would always keep the aging date at this place which is the oldest aging date to give you an idea how old this location is since how long there there is some stock on this particular location right so that is a bit of a, a context about uh, this feature when you share the uh, uh, the items on the location the aging date moves to the aging date field on the license plate right so you can see I have another item 141 which is uh, received on 26th of May so if we try and sell this using LIFO so it will pick from this location because this has the most uh, recent stock which is uh, received on 26th of May but if I use a FIFO strategy it would pick from 101 because that is the oldest stock but the strategy will not be looking at this day for uh, the fact of matter. So to conclude, this feature gives us the ability to determine what is the oldest stock and what is the youngest stock. You would have the ability to pick the items using FIFO strategy. You can also pick the items using LIFO strategy as we have seen. And this feature is of great importance for non-batch control items because um, that is where the problem was to determine which items are oldest and which are the youngest and one important point is that if this uh, if you move a stock to a non license plate controlled location then the location itself will store the aging related information so that's all for this feature from my side thanks for watching bye bye